The force exerted on, on the hockey puck is an applied force, which is any force exerted on an object by an external source that causes the object to move. The collision between the hockey stick and the hockey puck is known as an elastic collision, and by definition, an elastic collision is a collision in which two objects remain separate after the collision, each having their own velocity. When shooting a hockey puck, you're increasing the momentum of the hockey. In order to change an object momentum, a force must be applied to the object for an interval of time, which would be the applied force from the hockey stick on the hockey puck. When shooting a hockey puck, a hockey stick acts as a spring being flexed or stretched, causing it to gain potential energy, which is then released when shooting the hockey puck. Hockey sticks can also be a great example of Hooke's law, requiring a certain amount of weight to flex a certain distance. When shooting a hockey puck, you're changing the momentum of the hockey puck by applying a force to it. This force re results in an elastic collision, which means that the hockey stick and the hockey puck will have their own results in velocity and momentum. The force of the shot comes from the potential energy that's built up in the stick when it's flexed like a spring, causing it to release the energy when making contact with the puck. 